In today's video, I'm gonna be revealing 17 companies that are always hiring for work from home jobs. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna be giving you links to apply for a job for all 17 of these companies. And I'm also gonna be sharing what jobs the companies are hiring, what skills they're looking for, and other insider tips so that you can pick the best company for your personality as well as your skill set. And I remember searching myself for work from home and remote opportunities and wondering if I was going to be able to find one just like you are right now. And I remember there a lot of information out there that wasn't that helpful. It was pretty vague and also discouraging. But one of my friends who had been working online for a really long time shared some amazing resources with me that made the whole process incredibly easy. And those are the resources I'll be sharing with you in this video. And working from home is one of the best decisions I ever made in my entire life because it allows me to just roll out of bed in the morning and start working on my computer. It saves you hours every day, it saves you a bunch of money, and it saves you from having to deal with all the stress of going into an office and dealing with that environment. So if you appreciate me sharing this top secret information with you, go ahead, gently tap that like button and let's get into it with number one on the list, which is going to be Working Solutions. Now, Working Solutions is only available to people in US and Canada, but most of the ones I present on this list are actually going to be available to people all over the world. Now, Working Solutions allows you to work from home as an independent contractor. They've won many awards for being one of the top 100 remote work companies, and they hire people from just about every single walk of life, whether you're a recent college grad who's getting your first job, or maybe you're retired and you wanna make a little bit of extra money on the side and just keep yourself busy. And the people that work for them are known as the Woohoo Crew. And when you work as an independent contractor for them, you get to set your own hours and you decide when you work and how long you work. So if you're a morning person, you can work in the morning. If you're a night owl, you can work at night. And they have over 150,000 people working for them. Now they most commonly hire people for call center positions and you're gonna make somewhere around $15 an hour. And they actually have an estimator on their website that shows you approximately how much you're gonna make. So if you work about eight hours per day and five days per week, you'll make about $600 per week. And you will make more or less depending on the program you work for and the incentives. And by the way, my team and I vetted all of these companies. We scraped information from the internet. We made sure they had positive reviews before we put them on this video. So there's lots of positive reviews for this company on the internet. I'm not gonna show all the reviews for every single company because that would take too long. But yeah, this is a really good option. It is $15 an hour, not amazing, but at the same time, if you're just trying to get started working remote, this can be a great option for you. The next one on the list is going to be one that is incredibly easy to start making money with, and that is going to be transcription, specifically with gotranscript.com. So basically, you're gonna be listening to audio or watching videos, and you're gonna be transcribing whatever is said, and you'll get paid around 60 cents per minute that you transcribe. Now, this one is super easy to get started with. It's another one where you can do it whenever you want. There's no sort of like time clock. There's there's no boss that's breathing down your neck or anything like that. You basically just take jobs whenever you have free time. And most people do this probably once a month. And that's why the average earnings per month is about $150, but some of the top earning transcribers make 1,200 or more. Now keep in mind, people who do transcription professionally usually work for a bunch of different websites. So it's not like they're only making $1,200 per month. They're probably working for like five to 10 different websites. One of the big pros here is they don't have any fees. You know, one kind of red flag, I mean, sometimes this works out, but it is a bit of a red flag, is when the website will make you pay a fee in order to apply. You don't have to worry about that here. And another pro is if you're multilingual, you're going to have a massive advantage getting the best jobs. The next one on the list is going to be automatic. And it's kind of like a weird spelling of automatic. And this company hires all different types of jobs from engineering to design sales to business development to marketing, customer experience, technical support and business operations. And they hire you for remote jobs and you can work from anywhere. Now, one thing you wanna look into when it comes to remote jobs is seeing if it's a remote job or a fully remote job. Because if it's fully remote, you can literally work from anywhere as long as you have an internet connection. And a fun fact here is they call their employees automaticians. Now they hire people from 70 different countries and they hire for a ton of different types of jobs. So the pay is going to vary greatly. But from all the reviews that I read online, the pay is very competitive. Now this is one of the companies that does have a little bit more of a rigorous application process compared to most of them on this list. So the first step is application submission, then you would do a Slack interview, then a Zoom interview, then you might do some type of test. For instance, if you're a software developer, you would do a coding test, and then you would have a short project that you would do, basically like a trial period, and then there would be an executive lead chat, and then you'd have a final chat, and then after that, you would get hired. Now, the next one on the list actually ranked number one on the most popular remote job website as the best company that 
actually offers remote positions. And that is going to be Live Ops. Now, Live Ops offers a bunch of different types of positions like retail support, healthcare patient support, inbound sales, home delivery support, government support, tax support, on-demand entertainment, insurance claims, and customer service. They hire people from the US and they typically pay 12 to $17 per hour. And all you have to do is click apply now, complete an application. You will have to do a background check, which costs about $24.99. Then you sign an independent contractor agreement, and then you'll have a variety of different programs that are starting every week that you can apply for. And then you can join the Live Ops Nation, and they typically pay between $12 and $17 per hour. Now, the next one on the list is going to be one of the most famous companies in the entire world, and you can actually work remotely for them, and it's a very high-paying job, and that is becoming an Apple Home Care Advisor. Now, Apple's brand is all about positioning themselves as the premium product. That's why their computers and phones are much more expensive than their competitors. And same thing goes with their customer support. They want to have the best customer support in the world. And so they don't just call themselves a customer service representative. They are Apple Home Advisors. And in order to have the best customer service representatives, you're going to have to pay them the best as well. So they make around $32 an hour plus incredible benefits. In fact, some estimate that the benefits are worth as much as the salary. So this position is especially good if you're familiar with Apple products. The next one on the list is going to be Asurion, and they hire people for corporate, customer service, and supply chain related jobs. This one has really good ratings online, and they have over 19,000 employees in 26 different countries. So as you can see here, they have a lot of business related jobs like strategy and planning program management. They also have a bunch of sales related jobs like retail sales associate, and they typically pay somewhere between 21 and $32 per hour, depending on the position that you're going for, right? So I think you're starting to see like a lot of companies, even really big ones that have tons of employees are hiring people for remote jobs. And the reason for this is because it's actually good for the company. Having an office building is really expensive. So it's kind of nice to hire people for remote jobs. It's a win-win situation for all parties involved. So it's never been easier than now to get a remote job. And one really good website for doing this, and it's not sponsored or anything like that, is Flex Jobs. I mentioned them before in the video. At the very least, that's a great place to look for the types of jobs that you can get remote. The next one on the list is going to be Concentrix. And this one was formerly known as Convergis. They hire a lot of people for quality assurance or computer science related jobs. And they have over 300,000 employees in over 40 countries on six different continents. And their employees speak over 70 different languages as well. And it's really easy to search for different jobs that they offer and apply. You basically just go to search and apply. And then you select the country that you're applying from. And you see there's client support specialists in Australia, customer service representatives in Australia, project coordinator, senior UX designer, etc. So yeah, a lot of opportunities available. The next one on the list is going to be amazing for you if you are multilingual, and that is going to be Gango for translators. And this is going to be a great way for you to start translating as a freelancer. You're going to have a very flexible schedule. It's not something where you have to do a full-time job or show up at certain times, and you can make pretty good money. Now, how much you can make is going to vary based on where you are, what kind of jobs you do, what kind of languages you know, etc. But the monthly average to translate something to English is about $417 per month. Now keep in mind, a lot of freelance translators, again, do like, you know, five or 10 different companies. So that might not seem like a lot, but it's actually pretty good. But according to reports online, they make approximately $14 per hour. Now some languages are going to be more lucrative than others. For instance, translating to Chinese is $526 per month and Spanish is $435 a month. Now, according to Glassdoor, Gango translators make about $4,451 per month on average. But also keep in mind, translators typically work with a bunch of different companies, like I said before. And it can often be pretty tough to get jobs when you're first starting. The next one on the list is another transcription service, which is GMR. Transcription is super easy to get into and super easy to start making money. It may not be the highest paying, it may not be super flashy, but it is easy for you to actually make money online. And GMR does transcription as well as some translation. And they say on their websites that their transcriptionists and translators make around 1,000 to three thousand dollars per month. Now keep in mind, this is another one where you're probably going to have more opportunities and get paid more if you are bilingual. And also on the website, it says that you're typically going to make more money over time as you do more jobs and you get more of a reputation for doing good work. So they incentivize people who do a good job over a long period of time. The next one on the list is going to be a very well-known company, which is Enterprise, and you can get hired as a call center representative. They've hired over 2,500 employees and they work literally 24-7, 365 days a year. So there's always opportunities for shifts 24 hours a day. And they typically start off at 
$1,000 a year with opportunities to advance up to $65,000 when you're a senior level employee. Now, one con here is they are a little bit limited in where they hire. So they only hire from the US and they actually only hire from certain states as well. So right now they're only hiring from these states, which I'll have pop up on the screen. The next one on the list is going to be data stacks. Now there's a lot of different jobs this company hires for and they pay somewhere between $19 an hour for something like an inventory auditor up to $73.59 per hour for a senior graphic designer. And this is another one of those companies that has really good perks and benefits. So they have great health benefits, retirement, employee stock options, discretionary time off, and they even offer pet insurance. But those benefits pale in comparison to the next one on the list, which is articulate. Yeah, they literally say on the website that they have super benefits. And they actually made it on the list of Inc. Magazine's best workplaces for 2022. And you can see with all those benefits, I mean, it's so much that I can't even list all of them, but I'll put them on the screen. Now, they typically hire people for engineering, marketing and communications roles, and sales roles. And they hire in many different countries. So the pay does vary greatly, but some numbers that I found on the internet were $134,000 a year for a business development role, $92,000 a year for an HR role, a lawyer was making $244,000 a year, and operations was making about $97,000. So this is kind of a high-end company to work for. It's probably going to be much more difficult to apply to a company like this and get work right away, but it's one where you should definitely start the process. The next one on the list has a lot of business development and accounting jobs, and that is going to be ABC Fitness. So they hire a bunch of different types of jobs. They hire customer service representatives, and you can see they pay somewhere around like $17, $19 an hour. Technical support representatives, somewhere around $22 an hour. Data analysts, they pay around $40 an hour. Bilingual customer support representatives, $23 an hour. And you have software development making around $77 an hour. The next one on the list is going to be another very well-known company, and that is Dell Technologies. There's probably a good amount of you out there watching this right now on a Dell product, and they hire people from all over the world. So right on the home page, you see India, United States, Mexico, Panama, Malaysia, right? So they're hiring people from all over. And the pay is going to vary greatly. The jobs in the United States tend to pay somewhere between 40 and $150 an hour. And Dell is one of those companies that pays really well and has good benefits. The next one on the list is going to be a company called 10 Up, And they aim to make the web a better place by finally crafting websites and tools for content creators. And they hire a ton of different creative, business, and technology-related positions. So for instance, account strategists, they're paying about $155,000 a year. Advertising operations coordinators, they're paying around $72,000 a year. And a recruiting generalist, they're paying about $95,000 a year. So another relatively high-end place, probably a little bit harder to get started with this one. So it might be a bit of a long shot, but it's always worth a shot because if you apply to enough of those companies, you'll probably get lucky once in a while. The next one on the list is going to be a company that hires tech-related careers, and that is clevertech.biz. This is another company that's gonna be fully remote. You can literally work from anywhere. That's one of the perks of working in technology-related careers is it's very easy to get fully remote jobs. And so you can work in a country like the Philippines or Thailand or something like that, where you can live like a king on a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars a month. And they say right on the website, tech talent does not limit itself to the West Coast and neither should you. And I totally agree with that. And I actually love the UX and the UI design on their website. So for instance, when you're looking for a job, you can actually search the jobs by the skills that you already have. So let's say you're really good at React, for instance, you can just click on React and you can apply to those types of jobs. So they make it really easy because a lot of the times companies are just really dumb when it comes to this stuff and it makes you waste your time applying to positions that you're not even going to have a chance to get into. Now, salaries are going to vary greatly, of course, but the average estimated salary at Clevertech is about $52 an hour. Now, the next one on the list is another international company, and that is TELUS International. They employ 22,000 work from home or fully remote employees. And TELUS International is all about customer experience and optimizing it for digital brands. You can work from anywhere. They hire from many different countries. And of course, the pay is going to vary depending on the country that you live in. But the pay that I saw online varied from about $7 to $82 per hour. Now it's great to know remote companies that are hiring, but what's even better is to know the skills and the jobs the companies are paying really good money for. And that's why I created a video where I went over the best remote jobs that you can get into at the entry level with no experience required. And you can check that out by clicking right here.